He's tired. I just figured out why I'm doing it's because we're standing now and we're not sitting and I'm so used when I'm You're fidgeting. I'm gotta be moving. It's like I stand all day, but I don't stand all day, I move all day. It's just standing is like means I need to do something. Fidgety. Fidgety. You, you need to do something. Yeah, I'm like I gotta like start putting products on the shelf or something or uh, sitting is like I'm in the relaxed mode. It's like standing. <laughs> I'm like, I like okay, standing. let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <clears throat> let's go, Sam. Let's go. Let's go. Cheers. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> How are you today? Good. All right, so we are going to go far across the Atlantic to <clears throat> Ireland. We haven't been to Ireland in a long time, so we're going to try an Irish whiskey. It's been a while yeah, since I don't we've know. done an Irish whiskey. When we I can't even last? think of the last Irish whiskey we did. Not that we don't love you, Irish. Oh, we have lots of Irish whiskeys. We have quite a few coming up on the, the backlog, but yeah. I don't even know when the last Irish whiskey is. So this is um, a pickup I got in Alaska, but it's actually readily available down here in the lower 48. It says Hellcat Maggie. Hellcat Maggie from the World Spirits um, Distribution. Don't know who's distilling it. Um, I've looked, and if anybody knows, put it in the down there. I've looked everywhere to see who the actual distiller is. It's only, can't find it. only tells you who the distributor is. Some guy in his bathroom. So I'm generally thinking that it's a um, sourced product. No age statement because it is an Irish whiskey. It's a blend. It's not a single malt. What was that? Oh my Helen. I'm not channeling you. So it's a blend from an Irish whiskey. It comes in at 80 proof, so sounds typical of a sourced material. Uh, and it comes in at 22.49, so that's pretty reasonable. That's going to be at a three barrel. Uh, I can definitely afford a three barrel uh, whiskey any Is that day. The, um, price you paid for it in Alaska, or what? That's the local price as of um, actually as of today, because I looked it up today. I try to look up all of our prices on the day we film, so. So it's um, the concurrent price. Right. So that's local here in Texas price. I think I, actually I don't know how much I got it for because um, I bought Alex a bottle and it was a little bit cheaper, but I bought it in Louisiana for And um, my daughter actually bought this for me. She lives up in Alaska. She knows to have something waiting for me when I get up there. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the review. This is a three barrel on price at $22.49. Hmm. I don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. So um, what you do is you put it in your glass and you kind of swirl it around, get the, the flavors activated. Um, a slow swirl or a fast swirl, but you do a fast swirl down there. And then you nose it by bringing it from the top of your nose down and you bring in that smell. Keep your mouth a little bit open but 
You got to swish it around a little bit. Yeah, in your mouth. swish it around. Well, but that's before you taste it. Your, your nose in it, and you try to pull out the different kind of um, aromas. So in this, I'm getting a lot of sweetness, a little bit of kind of spearmint, and some herbal, quite kind of a floral action going on. Kind of thinks about like a, a pleasant spring day out in the field. Honeysuckle almost. And then you take a draw and just kind of hold it in your mouth and throw it around and you pull out the, the taste and then you let it slide back and down. I'm glad you're telling me all this. Well, you said you didn't know what to do. I probably should have said I don't know what to rate this at. Oh, okay. It's... On aroma, I'm rating it as a four. I think it's got some great um, aromatic features to it. Like I said, the sweetness, the kind of a, a spearmint minty essence going on, that floral, um, not really any type of uh, char or dark fruit, but more of a light fruit, a little bit of a citrusy almost, that's a spearmint. So I give it a four, and I see you're having an issue here. You don't know four or three, that's kind of a big... Yeah, because it's like, I'm not getting a big aroma, which is like... It's not overpowering, but it's pleasant, and, and if you look at our, our here, you have a mild, a light, and a pleasant. This is a very light, aromatic. Yeah, and that's why pleasant. I'm that's We're, why I'm having the problem because it's like I'm getting just it's just so subtle. Mm -hmm. There's nothing like when I smell it. I'm like it smells really good, but nothing is like popping or nothing. It's just like it's well, so it's, mild, and it might be something that we've not really accustomed to because we don't do a lot of Irish whiskeys. I mean, we have quite a few, but we haven't <clears> reviewed a lot. We don't normally, I mean, I drink my Rider's Tears or my, um, I think I have something over there. What do I have over there? Oh, the Sheep Dip. No, Sheep Dip's uh, Scotch. Scotch. Maybe it's just Rider's Tears that I normally drink. So. It just seems so like, it's very, very pleasant. Mm hmm But like, from used to, doing the scotches and stuff where it's like you're like bam that's scotch right there so um one that we have done is the sexton which is a low i mean sexton's almost less expensive than hellcat maggie yeah and that's and i'm looking at the a little more powerful it's a little more dusty too Telemador. which is one of our first ones we've ever done That'd be one of our very first episodes. And this is more scotchy, like. Yeah. So this, I'm gonna go with the the four on this. Okay. Because it just seems so like. I think this is just you want to just sit down and listen to some Pink Floyd. <laughs> and you could go through this bottle at 80 proof. You could just, gale in this bottle. One and done in a day. Yeah, and just just sit down and just it's everything on this. I gave it a four across the board. Four across the board. I gave it a three on flavor. I think that it does have a very um, unique flavor palette to it, but a lot of the uh, flavors don't burst for me. It's 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 not. It's a moderate flavor. It's not really um, a strong flavor that I would like in a whiskey. So I gave it a three. You gave it a four because you think it's got what it's, it needs. It's just like, it's so pleasant to drink. You're not like really, like you said, you could take this bottle and oh, it'd definitely. be one and done. Um, drop of water, drop of two, two drops of water does bring out a little bit more of the flavors. Bite, there's hardly any bite. I gave it a four. I gave the it very a four. Very mild. The, just a subtle uh, undertone of a lingering bite to it. So that gives me a 14, which is a 3.5. That's going to give you a 15, which is a 3.75. So it's a 3.5 to 4 barrel, and I don't care... What do you want yeah, to say? 3.54. I, 
the cost probably is worthy of pushing it up to four. Yeah, I would. I would say this is a four. Okay. Barrel. So for an Irish whiskey, this is a really decent pickup for the common man. Super cheap. Well, not super cheap. Twenty bucks. Um, but it's got a, a very unique palette of uh, flavors to it. A great aroma and not much of a bite at eighty proof. I this, wish I knew who distilled it. And this, this is maybe something. You shouldn't buy it because you drink the whole bottle. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> Unless it's. No, if you're a like. Certain blended scotch called Monkey Shoulder. <laughs> no, you sit there. It's so just like smooth and nice that mm -hmm. you could end up drinking more than. Definitely. You wanted to. This is it. A, a decent Irish whiskey for you. So, uh, Cody, any comments that you have? I like it. <laughs> you like it, okay. So uh, make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Let us know what your favorite Irish whiskey is in the down there. Tell us what you think of Hellcat Maggie. Um, it's definitely a decent price, decent uh, Irish whiskey. And a lot of people aren't really into Irish whiskeys. If they do, they're doing Jameson Except or Except for coming up here St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. They're going to be loving Irish whiskey. True. Uh, make sure you check out Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and the merchandise. And remember, there's no bad whiskey. There's only good whiskey and great whiskey. And this is great whiskey. I this think is, it's great. For cost points, this is really good. Yeah, I like it a Definitely a good lot. pickup. So, see you next time. Cheers. Cheers. Laters. <laughs> no, I, I like it.